familiar materials. Everything from bus tickets, menus, cotton reels and the proverbial old rope has turned up where we used to expect canvas and oil paint. Currently pushing the bounds of art and tolerance even further are two artists who operate as one. They're Gilbert and George. They admit no surnames. They even share a Gilbert and George bank account. In fact, they're already celebrities of the art world. They're internationally regarded by critics and there are plenty of collectors eager to acquire the things that they make, which may strike you as odd for what they make is often very strange. And what they do, putting themselves on show as artworks themselves, is even stranger. The most recent exhibition of their work has just opened in London and it features a form that's relatively simple. You may even think too simple. I went along to see it and to meet its makers. of the postcard piece lent itself to the expression of finer feelings, stirring thoughts and beautiful views. Through our hearts, brains and bodies, the cards crystallize into our crosses of monarchical, Christian, nationalistic, violent, pagan, floral, sexual postcard pieces. They are our shields, our swords, our emblem, our vision, our tombstones, and our life masks. Clearly, the medium is the message. Gilbert and George use royal postcards to create these 114 pictures, each one selling for a right royal £800. Gilbert and George count themselves as one artist. That artist has already had a retrospective at the Whitechapel and was the only British representative at last year's Seo Paulo Biennale. But it isn't so much their pictures that mark their peculiar idiom as their curiously passive and formal selves. Each of these pieces is signed Gilbert and George. So who does what? Who makes we, the next? We always work together anyway. It's just a matter of laying down the cards in the right way to say what we want to say. Who would have the idea? We are not but based on an idea. No, we never have ideas. It's just putting something from our heads or our hearts. Just our or language, our, our philosophy. And we have been discussing it for 14 years. Most of these images are concerned with patriotism, royalty. What is it that you like about royalty, George? It's not a question of liking. It is a royal country. Britain is a royal country. And we're very, very proud to be part of that. Let me just ask you about different ones. What about the one with the Queen Mother and the Pussycat? It's a wonderful one. It's a very good one, yes. Why are you pleased with that? I mean, if you like it, just like that. It's a very unusual, very good portrait of a particularly wonderful person. What made that come together like that, George? Well, they just do. That's, that's our feelings. Huh? We have all these feelings. Do you think the Queen Mum was a sort of pussycat? Well, that would be too, too easy to say. But... Um, the great series about Diana, Princess of Wales, yes. and Prince Charles. How do you feel about them? Like the titles. The, the title expressed exactly what we feel about them. Like this one, Charles the Young and the Blue Bells. As simple as that, not more, no less. Sometimes you use rather curious, violent images. Look at this, a, an execution in block. Oh, we love violence. Yes. Violence and royalty. Well, I mean, why not? They did Part it. Part of the fabric of our whole lives. They first caught attention in 1968, making living sculptures, 
and you may think fools of themselves, sprayed with metal paint and performing for seven hours non-stop. This is the 1975 red paint version. Cherry blossom. Do you go everywhere together? Do everything? Yes, always. Always, yes. Our life together is the basis of our work, really. In fact, your life is the work, very much. Yes, yes, very yes. much so, yes. Our thoughts, our ideas, our... So if one of you is left alone, do you feel incomplete? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Lost. You see yourselves as locked together, really? Oh, totally, totally. What does that feel like, George? Marvelous. Very wonderful. Marvelous. Very good. Very good. I must say, to the outside world, it seems very strange. Does that intrigue you? You probably are a little strange, I would say so, yes. So every art is this, the good one. Only in, in the bad ones, you are normal. Do you think you're eccentric? Oh, yes, I hope so. What do you think? We wouldn't like to be normal, certainly. This is part of a Gilbert and George film. Its financial backers, the Arts Council, on show next month at the Tate Gallery. It looks easy enough, much of their work does. The sort of thing any of us could do? You, you can. Certainly anyone can do anything. Any kind of... It's not, I mean, painting is not difficult. Only having... What do you call it? A vision. That's, that's what it is. But that's what it is, art. That's what art is. Having a vision. It looks so easy. I mean, it is. It is for you, you say. Mm. But if we started, if we humble mortals tried to do it, it would all look wrong. It wouldn't no, look. it wouldn't. It probably would look very good. Perhaps you should try. But it would be very difficult to sell it, probably. <laughs> find all that slightly tending to slip away. I thought, you, I, I thought you hung on quite extraordinarily <laughs> well, Joan. How did you manage? Well, you know the message of the postcard. Wish you were here. I'm rather glad I wasn't, actually. Congratulations. Now, let's do something banal and take a look at tomorrow's weather. All down the east.